Let's scan this ring, but this time unedited and with a full guided tour of the software. Now if you know 3D scanners, you might be wondering how we can scan shiny jewellery. Well, accuracy can be significantly reduced if the object is shiny. But we have a solution, which is to use this brand new scan spray. We spray it on and it mostly evaporates. It just leaves a very fine white film. And after we scan it, all we have to do is wait 24 hours and the white layer will evaporate too, so there's no cleaning up to do. This spray is by far the best spray that we found, because it's so thin. Other sprays can be so thick that they cover up the detail that you're trying to scan. Now that will scan perfectly. The spray is called Ace of Orange, and we are working with its creator, so we can ship a free can with every scanner we sell. So we put the ring in the scanner, and then we move to the software. We type a file name, and if we click settings, we can choose an appropriate scan size. We are scanning a small ring with very fine details, so let's use super resolution and the small scan area. The maximum scan volume is a cylinder 12 centimeters diameter and seven and a half centimeters high. We can also choose the number of angles that it's scanned from. Standard mode scans from about 10 different angles so it's fast. If you have an object with lots of crevices or you want the highest possible quality, you can use more scan angles. It just takes longer. There are other settings but you can nearly always leave them alone. They are explained in another video. So we click scan and now if we like we can adjust the exposure. It's best to use as high exposure as possible, but if we put it too high, it shows overexposed regions in pink. A little bit of pink is okay, but that's too much, so let's put it back to how it was. So off the scanner goes now, scanning the ring from different angles and stitching all the different angles together. I've accelerated it here so you don't have to wait. The scan software is intentionally simple. Its sole purpose is to collect the scan data and save it to a 3D file. You can then use dedicated editing packages to do the rest. But now it's processing, and processing will take about one minute, depending on the speed of your computer, of course. Actually, we'd like to speed optimize this a bit more. And if we get a lot of support on Kickstarter, that will definitely give us the incentive. So how about that? A mirror-like ring scanned in less than five minutes. We know it's a really good scanner, so we hope you'll support us so we can finish it off and get it on the market quickly.